Oh crap. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna make sure I got both of y'all in the frame. What? Alright, well, you can Ray come on first, right? Yeah, but it's gonna be more like a uh, back and forth. Okay, well, you. Yeah, I, this is good. We got both of us in shot. Okay, right we're not on live. I'm just recording. I know. Okay, cool. So we can have a little control of our content. Because when I put it directly on Facebook, Facebook owns it. Right. Yeah, if you didn't know. Okay, and I'm I'm the old person that's tech savvy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, take the show over, do your thing. Uh -huh. So you gonna do your seg you gonna do your segment, and then Bree gonna come on. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. All right. Good. And welcome back, everybody. And this is student host Walter Pierce. And now it's time for a definition. And this segment provides the listener with words and their meanings so that we can achieve together a common basis to say we care and believe in ourselves. Remember, whoever controls our definitions controls us. We must define existence and have it not define us. And our word for today is piggybacks on Stevie Wonder, which is music. And music can have a definition, basically what you feel about music. And But the Merriam-Webster definition of music is the science or art of ordering tones or sounds in succession and combination and in temporal relationships to having produced a composition, having unity and continue, continually and my def what I my personal definition for music would be like a, a rhythmic tone of a tune that um that really sets sets your mood for the day or sets your mood at a particular period of time. And what would you define music as, Brian? Um, I define music as something that like, you're interested in, like something that moves you, like something that can connect to your life, something that you can feel like you can bounce, like something that. What's the word? Oh, let me see. Something. Wait, you got the word? Let me see. Because I don't, I no, lost the word. No, I, I know. I, I, didn't, I didn't see the word. <laughs> you didn't I, see the word? I, I don't know nothing I think about you, like, the word. I think you ran past me and like, I didn't catch it. But, so. if you, <laughs> but, but, but if you ask me, Evander took the word. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's sitting over there and he's just taking words. <laughs> he's, he's writing them down, he's putting them in his pocket, and he's like, I'm not giving them back to you. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, but, um, oh, you know, what I was thinking is, um, and I think this is a very interesting discussion, um, I think that uh, for me, music starts with an instrument. Mm -hmm. The first instrument is your voice. All right. All right. And then you can probably use your hands. And once we move away from the human body and we begin to make other instruments mm -hmm. and we use them. Now, what I don't think is music, being old school as I am. Yeah, that's right. Here it comes. I'm the ready. generational gap. Mm -hmm. That homogenized, synthesized, artificial, mm -hmm. electronically made mm -hmm. stuff mm -hmm. that's being characterized as music mm -hmm. that isn't. Okay, so I went off track there because we were talking about what is music. No, but like, why, why would you believe? Why, why would you believe that's not music? I don't want to hear it. Oh, Be because it's just not natural. Mm -hmm. You know, st a wind instrument is a horn. A string instrument is a guitar. A, um, 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 ivories, strings combine, make a piano. And so, all right, so, I do know that synthesized, homogenized stuff that they call music, I do know that there's a place for it, and it is music. Right. It's, it's part of the hip-hop world in a big way. 
for a lot of people. But I think when you talk in creativity, you're going to go back to the basics. Okay, because once we unplug you, you have no talent. Oh, again, I've, I've gone off track, Brick. Help me out. What, what do you think here? Um, you want to correct me? I stand to be correct. You know, let me see. I, I agree <laughs> she said, you. you know? <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> but I agree with you. I feel like we need to go back to, like, the old ways. Music. Like, the nice, like, like, the beat now, I feel like it's, like, tired and everyone does it. And then, like, the songs, everyone says the same word over and over and over. Like, where is the meaning in that song? Like, people mm. get hyped off of someone's saying hype like how is that like music and the beat is tired like can you like switch it up do something different with it have you ever heard this before um jazz and blues had a baby and they named it rock and roll yes i heard of that okay and the people who created jazz and blues are the same people who are your ancestors did you know jazz is the only music that is indigenous of America, Americans' music, America's music. All other musics were transported from other places. Classical music comes from Europe, mm -hmm. right? Jazz created right here. Blues out of the pain and suffering of so many people, putting it together with some music to make a meaning and make a point. Uh, spiritual, gospel spiritual, and they call them Negro gospel spirituals had a message and that built a foundation for what we know now as rock and roll all right so um that's why you know i'm big on the, the instrumentation the instrument using inst real instruments because anytime somebody pulls the plug and you can't make music anymore i'm not classifying you as a musician i want to call you an electrician well <laughs> I don't know. I understand what you're talking about with the music part, but it's, it's still it's still a huge talent to be able to create a beat and create a certain beat, a certain rhythmic tone to to uh, go along with the song. Because, for example, somebody's listening to hip hop, and if the beat's not good and the beat doesn't get you going, people are not going to like the song. Like it doesn't really matter what they're saying, people are really not gonna like the song as much if it's what a good beat and a good song. And I mean, a good beat and probably not the best song, people are still more, like people in this generation are still more, um, uh, still will more favor that, um, favor the, 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 what should I say, favor the bad music with a good beat than with a good song and a bad beat. Okay. That, that's how it was. Were you at a loss to words? Hmm? Were you at a loss of words there? I couldn't figure out what to say. Because really. if, if you were at a loss of words, I know where those words went. And he's in the other room. I can, I, <laughs> you know, I, I'm, just the, I'm just the guy to go over to him, Vander, and say, Vander, give up the words. <laughs> Stop holding back. You're you coming in the studio. You're running out with the words, yeah. right? And then put, <laughs> put them in your pocket. Mm -hmm. Just give them on up, bro. <laughs> just give them on up. Okay. Uh, anyway, um... Bree, you have another segment for um, us. Yes. Oh, so. yeah. yeah. You, you have an intro to go with it? Help out. Help out. Teamwork. Got it. Teamwork. All right. So, for the next segment that is going to be done by co-host Brienne is a diamonds. And diamonds. History is like a diamond. Each prism represents the work of a group of people at a particular period of time. Look into the diamond and see the reflections of your past self, the pain of your mother, the choice of your father, and the blood of your ancestors. Look deeply, and you are bound to find yourself. Okay. So today's historical African American is Malcolm X. Malcolm X was born on May 19, 1925 in Omaha, Nebraska. His real name is Michael Little. His mother, Louise Little, was a homemaker occu occupied with the family of eight children. His father was Earl Little, was an outspoken Baptist minister who supported a black nationalist leader. Okay, so some of the accomplishments I want to focus on today was in December 1953, 
A little more than a year after he was paroled from prison, Malcolm was named the minister at the NOI Boston Mass Temple, number number 11. And in the beginning of 1960, Malcolm was invited to partake, participate in numerous debates on radio stations like in Los Angeles, New York, and even Washington, D.C. He was also um, allowed to be on TV, TV programs, and he visited many universities like Harvard Law, Univers Harvard Law School, Howard University, and Columbia University. And in 1963, the New York Times reported that Malcolm X was the second most sought after spoke, uh, speaker in the United States. And finally, on June 29, 1963, Malcolm led the unit rally in Harlem. It was the, one of the most largest civic rights events in the world. So, um, were, did you personally get anything out of researching uh, Malcolm X? Yeah, because I like, I feel like every time we like think about Malcolm X, we always think of like violence and everything like that, like he was like. Wait a minute, what, now where does that come from? Um, I think it comes from like, what I learned in history, it was always like Martin Luther King was always the peacemaker and Malcolm X was always like, yes, let's go fight back. So like, he was more like tough on him and like Martin Luther King was like, let's hold hands, walk down the street. So I wanted to show Malcolm X in like a, a different light. Like he's not all about like, let's go and like hurt these like white uh, supremacists. Oh, uh, rah, rah. Yeah, he well, was wait, like. Let me tell, let me tell you um, the evolution of a man. Mm -hmm. um, Malcolm had a real distorted young adulthood yes, he where he was involved in crime, which led him to be incarcerated in the industrial prison system, which needs to be checked. And as a result, he ran into and learned about the Nation of Islam. Mm -hmm. And he joined, became a member. He evolved past the Nation of Islam being a devout Muslim, he journeyed on a pilgrimage to Mecca. There he found that Muslims were in all shapes, sizes, and colors. And that Islam, the religion, was for all people, not just for black people. Um, the fallout between him and Elijah Muhammad had to do with something that occurred in house mm -hmm. with Elijah Muhammad and he felt that Elijah Muhammad was a uh, how do you put it well somebody who was being contradictive a hypocrite mm -hmm. okay he wasn't exactly practicing what he preached and Malcolm evolved and from just black people's rights to human rights, and he felt that the issue of black um, blacks in America was an issue of humans in the world, and he was about to establish a platform that would include African black African American blacks in America. He wanted to include humans that were experiencing pain and suffering throughout the world like black people here in America. Mm -hmm. uh, and I just tried to do my best to give you, um, you know, from my point of view, what the evolution of Malcolm is about. Okay, well, uh, it's all about education and learning, and I, I trust that you enjoy what you did. I think I talked too much right there. What do you think? No, you good. You good. All right, because I told you I stand to be corrected. What you think, Walt? Um, I think. Oh, hold up. Let me, <laughs> let me turn your mic up because nobody will know what you think. <laughs> um, Go ahead. I believe that you're just speaking from the heart. Mm. You know, anybody could be long winded, but you're just speaking from the heart, so it's no problem with that. Oh, okay. All right. I'm checking because you know. You know me. Anyway, we, we have, I, I do believe we still have uh, Chris on the line, so we're going to turn the music up. The time now is 7.41. We're going to invite you to tune in to um, us on social media. We're going to let you in to the studio so you can actually see what we're doing. 
go to Quest Youth Radio right now, and uh, you can check us out. And right now, I want you to bounce to the music. We are Quest Youth Radio. The best, best youth, youth radio. radio. Hey, Chris, are you there? Is is he still holding on the line? Or did he hang up? And I know you're there. We're Quest Youth Radio, the best youth radio. You claim to be my man. Thank you. Oh, hey, Chris, can you hear me? Hello, Chris. Hello, Chris. Are you there? Chris. Just tell him, tell him that it's online, too. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, we, Chris is, hold up. Chris is there, everybody. Chris, are you there? Chris, can you hear me? Hello, Chris, are you there? Oh, I'm confident y'all can hear me this time. Well, but I can hear you. Okay, well, can you, wait a minute, Chris. Oh, go ahead. I'm very happy about this program that you have with Walter and the young lady got the name. I'm so sorry. But you guys are doing a great job and it's very important the work that you're doing. And um, I just wanted to touch on the topic you spoke about with the music. And um, I, want, I just wanted to add a little bit to my perspective about vibrations and frequency, as you know, um, in a part of the music. And, you know, the manipulation of the vibrations in the frequency. Uh, like you said, with all the points, of course, you know, each note represents a different frequency, uh, which is important. But um, uh, I thought something that was huge was